Good morning, boys. How are you today? I'm Mr. Assam speaking to you. Today, we are working with each other on a new lesson. Our lesson today, too much easy, boys. Our lesson today is speaking about the area between two curves. To find the area between two curves, first of all, you have to decide which function up and which function down. After that, find the subtraction between these two functions. After that, find the integration for the result. Don't forget to figure out the limits of the integration from the graph. After that, get the result. As you see, our objectives today, we have to find the area between two graphed curves. And here I put graphed boys because some exercises I will give it to you without a graph. So you have to graph after that decide which function up, which function down, and find the area by the same procedures. Look here boys, I have two graphs. One of them up, this one, and its function is f of x and another function down its name is g of x and the limits of the integration from a to b and it will be the same limits for the area that you want to find the area for it i mean the same limits for the region that you want to find the area for it, or which included between the two functions. Now, try to apply this rule on all the exercises that I will give you today. But first of all, you have to get the subtraction between the upper and the lower. This is the first step and the main step. After that, you can complete by the integration. But take care, if the subtraction wrong, you will complete wrong. In this case, you will miss minimax. Look to this exercise. Who can tell me the upper function? Excellent. The lower function? Excellent. What about the limits of the integration? Here, zero for sure. And here, the number is four. Because you have the point, the coordinates of the point, this is x, this is y. So the value of x, it will be 4. So the limits of the integration from 0 to 4. So first of all, find the subtraction. It will be 5x minus x squared minus x. Simplify with me. It will be 4 x minus x squared. After that, find the integration, and the integration will be the area. So, the integral from 0 to 4, this is a, and this is b. And the result of the subtraction for x minus x squared, inside the bracket, put dx, who can tell me the answer? Excellent. The answer too much easy. And you taught something like that before. So it will be 4x squared over 2 minus 6x cubed over a 3 boot bracket. I think I did something wrong yes from where the six so i'm so sorry please remove it with me cancel so it will be only x cube over three after that find the answer by the limits of the integration don't forget to put here 4 and 0. Here you have 4 and 2. 
You can simplify, so it's up to you. You can simplify or you can substitute directly. It depends on you. So open two brackets and start to substitute by four. And instead of each x and the result of the integration, it will be by the calculator or by your mind, 10.66. And replace each x by zero, it will be zero. Get the answer, it will be 10.66. Look at the procedures again, the steps, and try to keep the steps in your mind. This is step number one, this is step number two, this is step number three. The second exercise, boys, please try to apply the same procedures, the same strategy of our solution. In this case, you will get the answer, inshallah. Second slide. Trigonometric function. Most of the students confusing. And any exercise contains trigonometric function because most of the students, they cannot understand the trigonometric function. But I'm sure that my students, they can get the answer by an easy way. Who can tell me the upper function? Excellent. This is the upper. Where is the lower? Excellent. This is the lower. Where is A and B? This is A. This is B. So, with me, find the, who can tell me the first step? Like we did before, excellent. Sub, it means subtraction. Six square, x minus sine x. You cannot simplify, guys. So leave it as it is. After that, start to find area. How can tell me the limits? Excellent, from zero to pi over four, it means 45 sec square x minus sine x put a bracket dx now find the result who can tell me the integration for six square excellent 10 x minus the integration of sine integration not derivative excellent it will be negative cosine negative with this negative it will be positive. Cosine x and here pi over 4 and 0 equals open two brackets. Replace each x by pi over 4. It means 45. So the answer will be 1.7. Replace each x by 0. The answer will be 1. Subtract the answer will be 0 0.7. If you not, I followed the same strategy. 1, 2, and the result 3. There is no difference between the previous exercise and the second exercise. One minute. After that, we will go to the second slide. By the same way, boys, it's too much easy. Where is A, where is B? Zero, it will be A. And here one, it will be B. Yes, this one the upper. This one the lower. Now find the subtraction. X squared plus two minus minus x there is no simplification so i will put it by the order x squared plus x because negative negative it will be positive plus two now find the area second step zero till one x squared plus x plus two dx equals, who can tell me the answer? Excellent. 
x cube over 3 x square over 2 2 x excellent excellent now with me substitute by the upper minus the lower here is 0 for sure it's too much easy and here it will be 2.8 by the calculator or by your mind after that find the answer it will be 2.8 if you compare boys between the first question second question and this question you will find all the steps like each others one two and three one minute after that we'll go to the second slide For this exercise, boys, here I forgot to put the equations or the functions for the graphs. So I will put it by my hand directly here y equals 4x minus x squared. And what about this one? y equals 2x. This is the upper, this is the lower, this is A, this is B. Now, who can tell me the first step? Excellent. It will be 4x minus x squared minus 2x. Simplify, it will be 2x minus x squared. Now, find the area excellent integral from 0 till 2 2 x minus x square put dx equals tell me the answer 0 and 2 it will be 2 x square over 2 minus x cube over 3 you can cancel 2 with 2. After that, open two brackets. Replace each x by 2. It will be 1.3. Replace each x by 0. It will be 0. Find the answer 1.3. Now I gave you boys four questions. And if you compare between these four questions, you will find the steps copy paste from each others. I didn't change any step, so please follow my steps exactly. Now, the last slide it will be for you. It will be classwork, so please try to solve the exercise alone in your home. This is the upper, this is the lower, and where? A and B. This is A, this is B. So what do you will do? You will find the subtraction. You will find the area. After that, you will find the result. Now I finished the first video for this lesson. I'm really so happy to teach you today this lesson and I wish you all amazing with me. I wish you all understand everything. Thank you so much, your teacher, Mr. Isam Gab. Bye-bye.